I spent last week in regional South Australia walking the incredible landscape of the Murray River as part of a guided tour. I have to say it was fun and very informative. I learned some things that I didn't previously know, which is actually a pretty good thing to do at any age. And the crew I was with, they're all diverse, all friends, but with various political views. And we had one particularly spirited discussion about the presence of an inland sea and the geological evidence of climate change over the millennia. Now, we could see the evidence of the, through different in, uh, transparent layers of rock that comprise the cliff faces. We also saw marine fossils and we learned of the climate adaption strategies of the Aboriginal tribes that lived there for thousands of years. We saw dead and living trees, some we were told were hundreds of years old, and some had perished due to changes in the river course and, of course, changes in the climate. And that prompted me to ask our fellow travellers a simple question. If the evidence shows that the climate has been changing for millions of years, why are we blaming man for it now? I'm the first to admit, none of the people there were climate scientists or experts as far as I know, but it was interesting to hear the answers. I was told the rate of change and climate change, I should say, is unprecedented, even though none could provide any evidence to that effect whatsoever. I was also told the cyclones and bushfires and other natural disasters were increasing and increasing in, in intensity, which, of course, was evidence of anthropogenic climate change. Well, that's not true. And the actual evidence suggests that in some cases, those phenomena are decreasing in intensity. And no one seemed to be able to explain how or why the climate has been much warmer or cooler previously. And yet apparently now it's a man-made catastrophe. Well, the reason for that is because most people haven't got a clue how the weather has been manipulated as a means of control. Allowing the world to think that disaster is imminent and man is somehow responsible allows bad actors to seize control of your life and implement an agenda that empowers them. Don't get me wrong, reducing pollution is an admirable goal. But humans expelling carbon dioxide or cow flatulence, that's not pollution. It's merely part of life on this planet. An attack on those is actually an attack on life itself. Real pollution is evidence in the ridiculous and unnecessary packaging of our everyday products, for example. And they're products that are profit centres for the very corporations who willingly lie in bed with the climate crazies. Pollution is the chemicals and the plastics that are pushed into our bodies, clearly impacting our health, and yet somehow endorsed by the authorities who purport their job is to keep us safe. I'm going to ask, why do so few question the declining testosterone levels in young men over recent decades? Whatever interferes with that natural effect is much more life-changing for humanity than taking a plane ride or heating your home, for example. But these things are inconvenient questions to those who accept the alarmism peddled by the climate catastrophist. Now, to my mind, they've brainwashed a generation into believing that man's use of natural resources is causing an unnatural phenomenon. And incredibly, the solution is to exploit those resources to create something they deem socially acceptable. Solar panels, batteries, wind turbines, all while ignoring the fact that these things will eventually become toxic landfill while also failing to make any difference whatsoever to the climate. However you want to dress this farce up, climate change alarmism is a cult that reason and logic seem unable to cure. It is a tool of control, wielded against a generation of manipulated minds who are unwilling or unable to think for themselves. And I'm telling you, the only cure will come when the economic disaster that is created by the same self-serving politicians who push this stuff, when that takes hold, the people will realise they've been conned yet again.